Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 2 to the power x cubed equals 3 to the power x squared. And I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and ln both sides of this equation. So if you ln 2 to the power x cubed, that equals ln 3 to the power x squared. Now, logging both sides or aligning both sides, same thing pretty much, right? Allows us to move these exponents. We can go ahead and put them in the front. They just become coefficients. So we, this gives us x cubed times ln 2 equals x squared times ln 3. By the way, ln is the natural logarithm, which is base e. Great. Now, let's go ahead and put everything on the same side and then see what we can do with this. x cubed times ln 2 minus x squared times ln 3 is equal to 0. We can go ahead and factor out x squared here since it's a common factor. And that gives us x times ln 2 minus ln 3 equals 0. So we ln both sides. Uh, that didn't really change the domain because x is in the exponent. So it can be positive or negative. That's fine. Let's go ahead and solve each case. x squared equals 0 implies x equals 0. That is a valid solution. If you go ahead and plug it in, you're going to see that. The second solution comes from this equation. If you add ln3 both sides and divide by ln2, you get x equals ln3 over ln2 as our second solution. Great. So this equation has two solutions, and they're both valid. Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, I'm going to, let me rewrite the original problem. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the exponents first. Notice that x cubed and x squared contain a common factor, uh, which is x squared. So we can basically write 2 to the x cubed as 2 to the power x to the power x squared. And the second one is just 3 to the power x squared. So I kind of put the 3 in parentheses to emphasize the fact that uh, both, uh, ha both have uh, the x squared. Now, we can go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over x squared, since x does not equal 0. Or we should say, hey, uh, as long as x does not equal 0. But probably before that, let me do the following. If x is equal to 0, you're going to notice that if x is 0, we're going to notice that 2 to the power 0 to the power 0 and 3 to the power 0. And obviously, they are both equal to 1. Therefore, they are equal. So x equals 0 is a valid solution. Now, what if x does not equal 0? Then in that case, from here, I can basically get rid of the x squared. So uh, raising both sides to the power 1 over x squared does that exactly. Or you can just cancel it out, depending on how rigorous you want to be. So if you raise both sides to that power, you can get rid of those and end up with a simpler equation, such as 2 to the power x equals 3. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log both sides with base 2 because our base is 2. That makes sense, right? And we're going to get the answer. By moving the x to the front, we get x times log 2, 2, which is 1, equals log 3 base 2. So that should be the answer, right? But obviously, by using change of base, we can also write it as ln 3 over ln 2. Therefore, uh, along with the first solution that we found, which is x equals 0, uh, we'll be done with our solutions. So there are two solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick. Hopefully that's going to give us a better idea. Unfortunately, because of the scaling issues and the graph would look real weird, uh, I wasn't able to show you the other solution. But here's what happens. Obviously, these two graphs will pass through 0, 1, so they'll intersect. So therefore, x equals 0 is going to be a valid solution. The other solution is out of bounds, but notice that the purple graph, uh, even though it's slow at first, eventually it's going to grow faster and cross the green one. Uh, so 2 to the power x cubed is going to eventually grow faster because of the exponent is more powerful. And that's going to give us the other solution, which is ln3 over ln2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.